Charlotte. Not only is it North Carolina's biggest city, it's also one of America's fastest growing cities. Here's what you can discover and experience in 48 hours in this Southern gym. When flying into Charlotte, the only real game in town is the Charlotte Douglas International Airport. With 15 carriers, it ranks 11th for most passengers served in the U.S., so getting into CLT shouldn't be a problem. Once you've landed, transportation should be a cinch because, like most big cities, Charlotte has multiple options to choose from. Buses and taxis are everywhere, and Charlotte has a burgeoning light rail system known as the Lynx. However, the best way to get around is with a good old-fashioned rental car. But take it easy, Leadfoot. Charlotte cops don't take kindly to NASCAR wannabes. First things first, check into your hotel and ditch those bags. The Duke Mansion is just the place to store them. This historic Victorian bed and breakfast was once owned by James Buchanan Duke, founder of Duke University. The mansion's 20 rooms are elegant yet modern, and the breakfast served is huge, so beware of the food coma. You're up to two hours of total vacation time. Time to flee the mansion and start soaking in Charlotte. Just a few miles outside the city sits Freedom Park, Charlotte's answer to Central Park and the first stop on your two-day excursion. The park is almost 100 acres, but don't let that overwhelm you. Start slow. Go for a lazy stroll along the Naturescape Trail and take in the birds, butterflies, and park flora. Or grab a seat and do a little people watching. There is no shortage of runners, bikers, and bladers cruising by. And hey, if you feel up to it, join them. Feeling a bit peckish? Then head to Dish, an East Charlotte hole in the wall serving Southern classics with a spin. If the chicken and dumplings or Cajun meatloaf doesn't make you feel at home, I don't know what will. And the vanilla bourbon sweet potato pie could have you camping out here for the rest of your trip. The funky dish is a perfect fit for Bohemian East Charlotte and a perfect spot for your first meal in town. If your inner child is bursting to get out, Discovery Place is just the spot to make that happen. There is plenty of fun for everyone, no matter what age. This interactive science museum is filled to the brim with exhibits and demonstrations aiming to teach and entertain. Rounded out by an aquarium that has recently doubled in size and an IMAX theater, Discovery Place is a nice buffer between your first afternoon and evening in Charlotte. So get your learn on. After heading back to the hotel for a bit of downtime, seize the day and make the most of Appy Hour at Carpe Diem. That's right, Appy Hour. From 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Monday through Thursday, appetizers like the mushroom onion tart with goat cheese are half price at the bar. And if you're there on the weekend, then I guess you'll just have to settle for a new American dinner at one of Charlotte's best restaurants. Try the brick chicken served on a bed of black pepper gnocchi. To end your first night on a low-key note, cruise on over to the Evening Muse. Although a live performance venue, the acts playing here should help wind the evening down, not the opposite. You'll find folk, funk, bluegrass, and slam poetry acts on the bill, a nice eclectic mix to complement the equally eclectic audience. Hope you got enough sleep because day two is knocking on your door. Get up early and head to Carowinds Amusement Park. And don't forget to pack your swimwear too. With 50 rides to choose from and the Australian themed Boomerang Bay water park splashing at your heels, Carowinds is an ideal way to get the heart racing and the blood flowing. If you can't decide between the 100 foot free fall of the drop tower or the speed and length of the Intimidator, don't ride them both again and again and again. After your white knuckle roller coaster adventure, it's time for lunch, or in this case, a lot of lunch. If you like your meals huge and fried, well, Mert's heart and soul won't let you down. The shrimp and grits with an order of cornbread or the salmon cakes could help put your stay in Charlotte over the top. Mert's is the epitome of good old Southern soul food. And since this is racing country, there is no way you're coming to Charlotte and not visiting the NASCAR Hall of Fame. It's got something for everybody, even if you don't consider yourself a fan of the sport. Their Glory Road exhibit gives you the lowdown on 46 different current and classic tracks, or you can get behind the wheel in the Racing Simulator, an activity that will convert the NASCAR novice. If you're more interested in the nuts and bolts of racing, head to the Transporter Simulator, where you can experience a full-size 
Texas version of the nerve center of every team. If you're lucky, you might wind up visiting the hall during a driver's appearance or book signing, a sight known to make a grown NASCAR fanatic weep. The hall is open seven days a week, 362 days a year. Finish out your night at Brick's Pizza. Delicious, handcrafted, wood-fired pizzas are the house specialty. Try the Chicken Florentine or the All Meat Bronx Bomber. Heck, order both of them. You're going to need leftovers for the plane ride home anyway. If you just want to kick it here for the rest of the night, go ahead. Bricks has an extensive beer and wine menu, and depending on what sports season it is, you just might get lucky enough to catch a Carolina Panthers, Bobcats, or Hurricanes game with a frenzied hometown crowd. But don't get too crazy. Your ride out of town awaits you in the morning. Well, your 48 hours in Charlotte are coming to a close. Let's hope we've shown you enough to warrant a repeat visit with more time and more adventure. Good food and big rides, science and nature, and NASCAR. Now, that's Charlotte in 48 hours.